those who don't know about my channel a very quick introduction i normally post a videos about lifestyle in sweden and for those who are moving to sweden as a student or who are new in sweden so here we'll take a look on uh, my channel name is uh, tashify and you can search it on youtube and if you see you can see different topics i have posted most of the content today is in uh, Urdu but I have I had so much demand from different viewers that they want to have videos in English so I'm now making more and more contents in English so <clears throat> if you see on my channel mostly those contents which are in English I post I do a small ENG label on it anyways uh, you will find more those videos very useful if you are coming to Sweden or uh, as a student or if you are new in Sweden so go and explore my channel channel and if you like it subscribe it and uh, press the bell icon because i go live a lot and i when i go live i take your questions online and they are very useful uh, for many uh, reasons um here is my blog um and no, i'm not posting so actively on that anymore but i will start to do this but just for your information if you want to contact me for some reason you can reach me through my facebook page called tashify and uh, for behind the scene or some more casual videos you can follow me on my tiktok also and also um if you like photos and like to share photos uh, come and join me on my instagram and uh, if you want to have a quick pics on my photo with uh, activities you can also follow me on my twitter okay let's go to the topic today and today's topic is actually Uh, from the series i am doing uh, about different universities and different cities in um, uh, sweden so today we are going to talk about a very beautiful little small city which is available uh, which is in dalarna land uh, called fallon uh, i have uh, so i had some students who have asked me about fallon university so in in this land if you if you see uh, google Uh, map of Sweden. Here we have Malmo. Here we have Gothenburg, Stockholm, and it is up a little bit up on the north, which is it, which means it will be much colder than Stockholm, Gothenburg, and Malmo. But uh, on the other side is a, a beautiful small city. Um, if we take a quick um, uh, look at, just let me. So uh, if if you take a look and it's a it's a city of only with thirty seven thousand inhabitants and um, uh, if we see um, how far it is from different parts of Sweden, um, here are some photos you can see from this beautiful city, um, and if we see that. how far it is because uh, that university which is in fallon they, they have two campuses um, in borlange and also in fallon so if you see borlange it is also a very small little town um so if we need to consider that in sweden it's only 10 million people and the small cities are really small so if we see Uh, how far um, fallon is from borlange that is only 21 km and um, if you see how far it is from gothenburg that is around 475 km and it it could take all, almost next to 5 uh, uh, 6 hours drive from uh, from stockholm it is much closer 222 km and if you see how far it is from malmo it is quite for 736 km so my suggestion is if you are if you are flying to castro bearport which is in denmark more close to um uh, malmo and much bigger international operations are going on there that's why many people uh, fly to uh, castro then it's not so ideal to go by car uh, to fallon um so might be you need to take another flight from malmo or uh, castro to stockholm or book your flight in uh, to stockholm directly but i have taken another look also if you fly to oslo um, then it will take you 390 km to reach to fallon okay that was more of a geographical uh, location of uh, the city if we take a look on official website of city here you can find all the information about the city what you can do so this is called fallon.se if you go on that website you can find 
a lot of information which you might need at some stage during your stay there um, and here you can explore more different areas of uh, their services in the city um, so um, the thing is I was trying to look into how to rent an apartment in Falun and I could not find so much good resources normally in my other videos I try to tell about the accommodation also so my suggestion is that if you're a student and moving to Falun go with the university accommodation first because that is the most easiest and simplest way to get your accommodation um, but uh, if you look at the jobs in uh, Falun, there are a quite a good listing of the jobs in uh, Falun City and a care assistant. There is a you can do a special uh, uh, diploma to uh, do uh, to become as an assistant to old people who are staying at home. And you need to check with your uh, uh, this commune uh, in Falun that uh, from this website you can ask them if I want to do that job. Uh, that job is normally. Uh, like this assistant nurse um, you can read more about it so you normally sometime you need a very very basic um, certification and then you can work uh, in those kind of jobs also when it's come to the other student jobs since this city is very very small and I always say that if you're coming with the mindset that you want to do a job and pay your fee I think Falun could be a really tricky and since it's only 37 how many how much I told you 37 38,000 people living there so it's a very very limited options like other small cities of Sweden like Vekho I have told about but sometime like if you are in a Uppsala city which is a small but that is more close to uh, Stockholm then you have more opportunities to go to Stockholm and work there and come back to Uppsala the commute is very good okay coming back to the commute part if you see different ways of transportation in Falun so again on that website they have uh, shared it their um, official website for um, uh, buying and uh, looking at uh, different commuting option on a public transport uh, that is dollar traffic that is the website dollar traffic and here I have opened their price list just for you to know and uh, so the 30 days card we always discuss about about 30 days card because students are mostly making those 30 days uh, monthly pass so they have two zones uh, zone one and zone two and different price level here you can see uh, I haven't seen any student prices normally they have another column here saying that student prices which are quite uh, cheaper than the normal price might be they have it somewhere else but I haven't seen it if you see the age limit here is all also talking about nothing they are not talking about any um, student cards here I try to find it anyways it might be here might be I haven't found it yet so uh, if you see that um, the if you if you, if you come about the Delorna uh, call uh, University College which is which has two campuses as I told you here uh, they have two campuses one is in Falun and one is in uh, Berlange so this is uh, the university which was which got a university status in 1977 and that is the most recent institute of higher education and um, the in, in 2015 they had 16,344 uh, students and uh, uh, if you if you if you see that in which uh, discipline areas they are uh, they have they are offering they have a school of technology and business studies which is interesting school of education health and social studies and then they have a school of human ten uh, human humanities and media sciences uh, media studies so if you see at look at the official website of Delorna Hoax school on Delorna this is op official website du.sc here you can see a lot of information about student student lifestyle and also what kind of education they are providing if you want to see how to get an admission in uh, Swedish University I had a, I have a separate video on my channel uh, you can go and search um, you can go and just search study here mm -hmm. and here you can um, and here you can
fine. I have put a video study in Sweden and here you will find all the information, practical information how to apply in Swedish university. Okay, let's wrap up this video. Uh, so this is the official um, website and they are offering uh, education in data and IT, sports and health, educa uh, language teaching, economics, a society and tourism and uh, culture, media design, technology and nature care, medicine and social work. If you go down a little, bup, bup, bup. Oh, 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 I get so many notifications now. So here they have a, a help page. Here you can uh, find a lot of information. Um, and uh, you can also write them an email to ask for the student accommodation because I haven't found on the city website normally they, they publish something for students there. Um, if, you, if you look into the research area, they are doing a research in energy and uh, community building, complex systems. So there are some PhD uh, uh, offers also uh, you need to search it yourself. Yeah, that was a very quick information about... Um, Dalarna Land and Falun and Bulanga University, uh, which is actually the Hook School in Dalarna. Uh, if you have any specific question, you can always reach me via my Facebook page or you can leave a comments uh, in that video. And if you want to know more information about that uh, particular city or university, please tell me and I will uh, try to find the answer for you. When it's come to the student jobs, which is the most important, can I work and pay my fee? I think this is a very small city for that. And I don't know what kind of jobs students are doing there. Is there any food delivery jobs they are doing? I searched some uh, job vacancies for students on um, uh, different websites like uh, studentjob.se. You can search jobs there. Uh, then here it is the their own um, the learners who school uh, website and here you can read about um, their uh, guiding in some way that there are different job opportunities like they're suggesting block it I have a video about global block it Arvind for meddling and and also uh, DU career gate and uh, they're also telling you about how to start your business Almi is a, a, a Swedish organization which help students or any any entrepreneurs to start their own businesses you can look into that also um, and then um, they have some internship options so there there is their official page for student jobs or student job information and then here we they have some uh, indeed.com I have talked about this video how to find a job in Sweden in uh, my previous uh, videos like this and uh, here you can also search different jobs in that area um, then there is Dalarna University student blog I think I, I, I would like to suggest this one also because it's a close community small city might be student help each other you can find the questions to do uh, you can find the answer to your questions on this website also I haven't get into detail but at least I'm showing you so you can read about it okay guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing my channel and if you subscribe please press a bell icon because when I go online live you will get a notification and you can come and ask me a question right away I read all my comments on my live sessions and I try to answer them all if you want to contact me you can always reach me via my Facebook um, via my Facebook uh, uh, page and um, follow me on social media and uh, thanks for listening Take care. Bye-bye.